Welcome to Vicky's channel. Today we will be making Japanese curry with pork cutlet. There are many many steps to this recipe but as long as we follow it step by step, it is quite easy to make. To start off, I'll be making onsen egg. So in the pot, I added in 1 liter of water and I bring it to boil. Once it's boiled, I turn off the heat and add in 200 ml of cold water. Then after that, I'm gonna add in 4 eggs directly from the fridge. I got this recipe from Google some time ago and then as long as I uh, set the timer right, I usually would get the perfect onsen egg. Once all the egg is in the pot, I'm just gonna cover this, remove it from my stove and let it sit for 17 minutes. Next, I'll be cooking my rice. Um, I'm using electric lunchbox, a uh, Cosway brand. Um, you can use your normal way on how you cook your rice. And just wash it, rinse it, fill it up with water. I'm using traditional method of measuring the water that needed to cook the rice by using my finger. And then just get, gonna let this steam until it is done. I'm using a normal rice today, but I highly recommend you to use Japanese rice or at least a fragrant rice. Moving on, we are gonna uh, peel and cut up our vegetables for the Japanese curry. I have some carrots and potatoes here which I'm gonna peel and cut into uh, small pieces, roughly about 1 inch thick or so. I have the full recipe, the full detail recipe listed down in the description box below so you can refer to that. And if you liked my video and recipe, do give me a like. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can click on the red subscribe button and do turn on the notification so that you won't miss any new uploads from me. So once we cut out our vegetables, I'm just gonna add it into a pot of water and boil it for 20 minutes. I also have some um, garlic, uh, sorry, onion here which I'm gonna cut into quarters and then set this aside. Now that we have uh, done with the vegetables, we are gonna move on to the pork cutlet. Here I have uh, 4 pieces of pork chop which I'm gonna tenderize it with the back of my knife. I'm using, um, in Hokkien we call it Ba Tao. I asked the butcher to thinly slice it for me and then all I need to do is tenderize it using the back of my knife at home. If you have the hammer thingy, you can use the hammer thing but I don't have so I'm just using the back of my knife. So once the pork chop is tenderized, I set it aside and it's 17 minutes already so I'm just gonna remove the egg from the pot. Gently scoop the egg out from the pot and then set it aside until we need to use it later on. Here I have um, moving on to the next step, we're gonna coat our pork cutlet with some breadcrumbs. So I have three plates here, one is all-purpose flour, uh, one is um, breadcrumbs and then another one will be egg which, uh, which is one egg and then season it with a little bit of salt and pepper and then beat it to well combine.
So now we are gonna cover, uh, gonna dip our pork chop into the all-purpose flour. Make sure everything is is coated, and then shake off the excess flour. Then dip it into the eggs mixture. Make sure both sides are well coated, and then um, then we're gonna dip it into the breadcrumbs. I'm only doing one-time coating. If you like, you can do double coating by um, going back to dip this again into the egg and then again into the breadcrumbs. But uh, for this recipe, I usually coat it one time only. So, um, show you again. We're gonna like um, mix this, uh, dip it into the all-purpose flour, shake off the excess flour, dip it into the egg and then next we're gonna dip it into the big crumbs it's just that simple then set this aside you can make this up front um, before in the morning or the day before and then keep this in the fridge and use it when you're ready to deep fry it Okay, another step down, we are going to move to the next step. The potato and carrot is almost ready. Um, it's coming up to 20 minutes. And once it is ready, I'm just going to drain this and set it aside. Now that we have all the preparation ready, we're gonna start cooking the Japanese curry. Over here in this pot, I'm adding in drizzles of flavorless oil. You can use any type of oil. I'm using canola, so uh, I'm just gonna let it heat up and then add in the onion. While over the other side of the stove, I'm preheating oil to uh, fry the pork cutlet. I'm using a homemade Japanese curry paste. I got it. Um, it's I got it from a seller in DHM Marketplace. You can actually join DHM Marketplace and you can purchase this uh, Japanese curry paste from her. Her name is Elaine Tio. And normally for this small packet, I can cook uh, two times. So each time is for about four portions and half a packet for four portion so one packet actually can cook about eight portion so i'm just gonna drop the add in this uh half a packet of japanese curry paste into the pot and then um just gonna stir it a while and add in a water little bit by little bit so that i can slowly dilute the paste into the water i find that i found that um if i add in a whole lump uh, the whole water into the whole cup of water into it then it is very difficult to dilute the paste so uh i just add in a little bit by a little bit until the paste is totally diluted then only i add in all the water total i added in roughly about 800 milliliters of water Once I added in all the water, I'm just going to let the curry to boil. Then um, over the other side, I add in my pork cutlet to, for frying. And I'm just going to fry it until both sides are golden brown. Back to the Japanese curry pot here, um, I'm just going to give it a stir and then add in the potato and carrot. Then I'm just going to let this simmer for about another 15 minutes. I'm 
using um Indonesian potato so uh it it remains the the shape of the potato but uh when you bite on it it is actually very soft then um I do flip the pork cutlet once in a while about three to four minutes each side And don't forget to stir the uh, Japanese curry often, if not, it will burn at the bottom there. Okay, now that um, the Japanese curry is ready, I'm just going to set it aside and then continue cooking the pork cutlet. Once um, both sides of the pork cutlet is golden brown, uh, it is ready to dish up. Other than pork cutlet, you can actually use um, chicken breast and cook it in the same way. Now that everything is cooked, um, we are going to plate this up and inspired by the Yoshinoya Tonkatsu Japanese curry chicken, I'm going to plate it more or less the same design, same style of it. On one side of the plate, I'm adding in the rice, 2 to 3 spoonful of rice. And then on the other side, I'm going to add in the Japanese curry. Just make sure that there's a well mix of carrot and potato in there. Next, we are gonna add in um, the onsen egg, and I highly recommend to crack the egg um, on another into another bowl first. So, in any case, you get a undercooked egg. You can microwave microwave it for ten seconds so that uh, it is cooked. Then um, I'm gonna cut up the tonkatsu, the the pork cutlet. So. It is okay if you don't cut it, but um, I usually cut it so that it's easier for the kids also. Alright, now I'm ready to serve this um, Japanese curry chicken, uh, sorry, Japanese curry pork cutlet. Thank you for watching. Bye!